this this video two of the landscape painting. So I've got the the trees done and the clouds done. And I'm going to start laying some lily pads in the water. And I have a real treat here. I have a reference photo that's actually from France, from Monet's garden. Yes, the real Claude Monet. And it has some lily pads in there. Now I do have photos that I took of lily pads here in Texas, but I thought it would be really slick to put some lily pads from Monet's garden. So I have some colors mixed here. People that know me know I'm a huge fan of Monet. I actually had a dog named Monet that I lost last year. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to lay in these subtle images, just like you see here in this reference photo. So the reference photo, we're going to jump around here. I'm gonna grab some of these like light taupe colors that I've created in my palette. I'm just going to lay them in like you see a lily pad in the distance. So I, I've been holding on to this photo from Monet's garden for a number of years now, waiting for the perfect painting to use this in. So we're going to keep dropping these lily pads in in the distance and of course start getting a little bit bigger here just a hint and i'm doing wet on wet this blue here in the water did a couple hours ago and i've been letting it set up and dry a little bit and holding the brush far down on the end so that i'm just kind of dancing it on the canvas just a little bit. So I don't have a real tight control, but I'm letting it just really just dance around. I guess that's the best word I can think of. Just letting it hit the canvas without a lot of control because I don't want it to look controlled. I want it to look kind of free form. And then once we get in the foreground of the water, then we'll, um, use the lily pads that I, I took in Texas. Now one thing that we see in the reference photo, some really dark, dark greens in here. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna grab some of these dark greens that I have made, and I'm going to just imply them between the lily pads. I love lily pads, I've always loved lily pads since I was a kid, I can't, uh, tell you why just you know your your eye goes to things of beauty that you don't um, just like my I, you know I, I can't explain why I like lily pads but I took these photos that I'm going to be using of lily pads a couple years ago on a ranch in Texas I was driving around and just taking reference photos just to have in my reference library to use someday and uh, so here we have it, that, that day's now here, and I'm gonna be able to use some of the photos I took. And I'm gonna grab a different brush here. Hmm, let's see. Figuring out which one I like the feel of. I'm gonna take with this brush. I'm gonna put it into some of these blues. And I'm going to, if you look in here, you can see some shadows that are running down from the trees. Well, we don't have trees in the reference photo. We have these brilliant blues. So I'm going to just pull some of these blues down to make it look like the water is reflecting. See, I'm just pulling that blue down to go over the, the darker green. Give the illusion that there's a reflection of light on the water. So this is the method. And how cool is that? So this is the method that I'm going to be using throughout the lily pads. 
So if you are having fun watching my art videos, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, it's going to be fun. Thank you for watching.